G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be uh, looking at bind mounts as opposed to sim links. Now, a couple of weeks ago, um, Adam Grubbs on Big Daddy Linux Live, he's always every now and then bringing up some interesting topics and uh, bind mounts was one that piqued my interest when he brought it up. And I thought I would um, give this a go. I'm running bind mounts currently, but I want to show you what I've done to set this up, if I can remember how I did that, because it's been more than a week now since I've done that. So let me full screen this. This is a VirtualBox Ubuntu install. And as you'll see, I've set this up with a data drive, which is here. So we're going to have a look at sim linking first, and I'll explain to you while I'm, why I'm doing that. Now, if we're going to be sim linking, we need to know um, this one here is dev sdb, but um, we also need to know if we uh, open the terminal. So if we do an lsblk, we'll see that uh, this sdb here, and if I um, zoom this out, you can see this is sdb, and it's at mount blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that will be relevant when we do bind mounts, but we're going to be sim linking at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just make my folders. So what I've done on my data drive is created these folders here, which is normally how I have it. And in these folders, I would probably normally have, you know, downloaded stuff and documents and whatever, but you know, these are newly created, so there's nothing there. Currently I've, I've downloaded these pictures, so I'm gonna cut them into this data document under pictures. I'm gonna do that. Now, normally what I would do, and we need to go into preferences to um, behavior and show action to create symbolic links. We go back to data and we make a link for all of these. So I'm going to create a link for each individual one. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is cut that into the home folder and paste. I'm gonna, I'm going to delete, move to rubbish bin, the, all the normal um, standard home folders that come with your Linux installation. So move all them to rubbish bin. And then we're going to rename these. Okay, so they're all renamed. So if I double click on that now, it'll open up my data drive, which is this one here, pictures. But now when we go to pictures here, we're actually looking at the data drive. So that they're reacting the same as, as if they were normal home folders. So that's how I would normally set that up. Now, if I was to open, um, now I think we have can we create new folders? Yes, we can, that's all right. So we can create new folders and all that still in there. And then what I would do is probably go to disks. And then I would go to my um, data drive, which is dev sdb. So you've got to make sure you select the right one. This is my system drive. This is my data drive and it's written there data. It's important to write a name for your partition because it's easily identifiable. And so when I start the system up, I want that to mount automatically so th those folders will be usable upon startup. So all you need to do there is edit mount options, toggle this on, and just click OK. And then we have to put in our password for that. And that's done. What we're going to be looking at here is I want to open up GIMP as an example. Now GIMP is a snap app 
Now I want to open up one of those logos under pictures. Any one of these, it doesn't matter. Now what I'm going to do is go file and open. Now as you'll see, it'll tell you cannot could not read the contents of music. Um, if we go to pictures, could not read the contents of pictures. So I don't have access outside of any of that. And that is the problem. And uh, that is the problem with Snap Apps and Simlinks. This is the problem that I was facing using my Simlinks. And if you're using Ubuntu with Snap Apps, you'll probably come across this problem. And um, I think when um, Adam Grubbs was talking about having access, more access with uh, bind mounts, that's when my ears propped up. It piqued my interest and I thought, what's this all about? I want to have a look at it. So I did that. And let's um, have a quick look at a website I come across. What is a Simlink? And using Simlinks gives you the... Um, the commands within the terminal to create sim links where you can right click and all that stuff which is what I do and then you've got bind mounts using bind mounts with the built-in Linux kernel command so this is how it works so what you need to do is you need to sudo sudo mount dash dash bind space forward slash and you need the path to your data drive or data partition, whatever it is, you need that path with a space and then home user, which in my case is colon and music, or if we're doing this way is be pictures. So what I want to do here, um, just to double check on these things, we'll open up Cherry Tree and Cherry Tree is a snap app as well. And I couldn't get my snap uh, my my file open now I haven't got the file on here um, for um, some particular reasons and and one of my reasons is on the network I'm having issues with um, with Samba I don't think it's it's not a Ubuntu problem I believe it's a Samba problem and um, when I open up this here, you'll find that everything is a folder and it's all, they're all read. That's meant to be a file, but they're all reading as folders. That one's reading as a file. But when I go into here, everything is reading as folders. Well, maybe not at the moment anyway. That's interesting. So that's a good thing. So I can get my cherry tree documents from here. Let's have a look. Oh, so that is actually working. Um, let's copy that over. Copy to home documents and put it in there. Okay, so let's do that. So now what we're going to do is open that file. So we'll open the file. Documents, could not read the contents of documents. Permission denied. So that's two apps, two Snap apps uh, with the same behavior. Not a problem there. Um, we're aware of what's going on. So I'm glad I got my folders over. Don't know what's, uh, maybe there's been an update with the Samba or something, I'm not sure. Well, it's working better in VirtualBox than on my main system. <laughs> I, don't under, I don't know what's going on there. So what we want to do is we want to establish the path of our data partition, data drive, whatever it may be. Now what we're going to do here is rename these to link Now the reason I made them, I, I renamed them back to link is because when I delete these and we're going to move that to rubbish bin, we'll go to rubbish bin and I want to restore the original one. So that's what we're going to do. So press the first one and hold the shift key and press the last one and we shall restore from rubbish bin. 
and they all should be there as they were to start off with. So we need to do that first and foremost before we do anything. Then we're going to go to here and this is where this is important. So we need this here with which is which is lsblk. So what we want to do is with this command here, sudo, um, I'll just type it in anyway. We'll leave this here. I won't clear the screen because we do need we do need this path. So we're going to leave that open. So it's sudo mount space dash dash bind space forward slash mnt in our case forward slash d2. So that's type d2 and press the tab key and that auto completes makes it easy. And then we're going to go, uh, for example, pictures and hit the tab key with a space and then we're going to forward slash and if you're not sure your path um, here, I'm going to do pictures, go to properties and it'll be home colon and pictures with a capital P. That's where you get your path from. So we go home tab col tab pic with a capital p tab and that should be the command that we need um, i think i can full screen that to see if we can see the whole path there we go sudo mount dash dash bind space forward slash mount yada yada <laughs> pictures and then we're doing pictures so you want it to bind to the same folder of course home column pictures. Let's press enter, put in our password, and that should be done. Now if we have a look under here, you'll see that now we have pictures, and that's been mounted. Now if we go back to GIMP, and we go to file, open, and we go to column and pictures, now you can see we have access to our pictures within a contained um, application like GIMP, which is a snap. So that's how you can do that. And you can do, and then if you want to do the rest of your folders, just arrow up and then just um, go back and change this to music or documents and this one documents and then arrow up again and go downloads and downloads and so forth and then you can mount them all but what will happen is and let's just check this out so that's um, mounted so if we do a restart on that let's just check out what's going on there after a restart so we'll just log in to the system again don't know why that's not full screen Okay, so let's open our file manager. And as you'll see, pictures is not mounted. We are back to normal pictures. It's unmounted now because it doesn't, that, that terminal command is a temporary solution for a bind mount. So you can do that as a temporary solution if you wish. So if we arrow up and go back to that, we can enter that again and pictures will be then mounted. What we need to do is we need to take this command and let me have a... Now, the other thing I forgot to cover was if you want to unmount it, that's your command there. You mount space forward slash home colon pictures, that would be. That would unmount it. Or you do a restart. But if you want this as a permanent action, then what we can do is this. Um, we need to sudo nano etsy. So what we need to do is we need to sudo nano etsy fs tab. That's what we need to do. And we're going to use that to add our mount. So this is the these are the temporary commands in terminal. Run the following command in terminal to bind a mount point. But that's temporary, and I should have written that there, temporary. Let's do that. Temporary. Save that. 
So we're going to sudo nano etsy fs tab. sudo nano etsy fs ah uh, fs uh, tab key and enter. Put in our password. Okay. So what we need to do here is open a new window and let's have a look at that command and we can copy and paste that command. I need to full screen this to get the full benefit of doing this. So we need to um, bring that back into here and I might just drop that uh, down a little bit. Okay, so then we can see the full um, the full command. So this is what we need to do. We need to um, put that command in because we know that that's the correct command because we know it was working. And uh, we need to do that. Then we need to add these on the end. None, bind, zero, zero. Pressing the tab key in between. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to... Um, we don't need sudo, we just need the mnt part. So it's going to be forward slash mnt to start with and then everything else is pretty much the same. It's the same from this point here, mnt and all that is the same. We don't need to put this bit in because this is the the command that we use to temporarily mount it. We're going to mount it on a permanent basis in here. So Let's full screen this to start with. Arrow down. And we're going to go forward slash MNT. Well, actually, why don't we just copy and paste it? it would be best from the terminal. Save us a lot of time. So let's copy and paste this. Copy and paste. So that's what we need to do. So we'll start off with. Um, We'll go in alphabetical order. We'll, we'll do it in alphabetical order. We'll go documents documents and then we get to there and then we go tab none uh, sorry, tab, bind, tab, zero, tab, zero. Now that was that was a recommended. I don't know if that's absolutely correct or not, but that was what was recommended. Now what we can do within the terminal here is we don't need anything else but this. We can copy this whole thing and paste right here. And then all we need to do then is change these ones here. So this one will be downloads I messed that up didn't I? Go to the and and press enter Well, actually, we don't need to copy and paste any, just paste. Now all we need to do now is control O, file name to write, Etsy FS tab, press enter, wrote 17 lines and control X. Now that should be everything done. 
So now nothing's going to take effect right now. We need to reboot for those to show up as mounts. Okay, so we're logging into the system. Don't know why this thing's not full screen after login. Okay, so by rights we should have everything mounted here. So there, there you can see they're all showing up as a mount point. So you got double now, but if you go to um, pictures, okay. So you might have seen a weird um, link to link documents and that when I renamed and turned up here. I've um, sent all them to the rubbish bin. Don't know why they were showing up here. The other problem I'm having is my data drive. Um, the first time we did it, it didn't work. It's still not working. Um, what I've done is my um, in the etf in the fs tab file. I've actually commented these out for now. I was just trying to figure out why it wasn't working. What's happening is there's no. Uh, if we have a look at my Etsy FS tab on my main system. Let's have a look at that. When I auto mount using disks, you can see here that my UUID or one of them, uh, dev disk blah 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 blah, is mounted by using disks. But for some reason, that is not happening in a virtual box if we have a look here now it's mounted but it wasn't mounted at all it was unmounted so if I unmount that that's what it looked like it was unmounted so it's not mounting automatically for some reason I don't know why that is it could be a virtual box thing never had this problem on real hardware it's only happened on VirtualBox. So if we have a look at this, the mount options, um, I've got to remember the um, name of the mount point, which was um, D29, which is this one here. So by rights, that should be in the FS tab and it's not as you can clearly see um, don't know why that is so that's okay that just do that in reverse and see if that works I don't think it will but we'll soon find out Okay, now it's auto mounting. I don't know why I have to do it the other way. I must have done something wrong. Normally I toggle it on and it works. This time I toggled it off and it worked. So that's really strange. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. So with disks, yep, I just um, edit mount options and toggle that off. Normally I toggle that on. So I don't know. Um, do it one way or do it the other way. It's auto mounting anyway. As long as that eject button's showing up, it's auto mounting. So what we need to do now is I'll um, we shall uncomment all of those things. So as you can see now, the disk is down here. That's got to be there for all these things to work. So that was the problem I was having. Control O, enter, and Control X to exit. And now we shall restart and see how we go. Okay, so we are logged back in. Let's check it out. And it looks like they're all mounted. Now do we have pictures? Yes, we do. So that's all working fine. So whether you go... You, you, your home folders will be doubled up because you've got the mounted ones and the normal ones but it doesn't matter where you go it's the same thing and if I look at documents I've got my cherry tree in documents there or there 
it doesn't matter so that's how you do that so I sort of I must have messed that up somehow because I was messing with the sim links if you're not messing with the sim links it should be fine but I think I I must have messed something up especially when um, it's not when the disk is not auto mounting that that is a big problem so let's just check that out once again so we have the forward slash mount and the disk UUID and the folder that's in there you must have a folder in that disk and then binding it to home column documents so that's what you're doing you're binding you're binding the folder in the data drive here you're binding that folder to the original folder here which is what we did and it's acting as one now if we um, if we now open uh, GIMP say for example and we file open and look for colon and pictures and there's our pictures so that's all working fine it's the same as mounting it temporarily but this time it's permanent so you've got a permanent access to your folder your home folders by using bind mounts so let's just have a quick look at this uh, website and I'll include this in the show notes so it says here to install bindfs it must be automatically installed so it says that's what uh, it's a tool that makes bind mounting possible I haven't installed it it should be there but I think also it does add some more um, some complexity to what you can do with bind mounts but I'm just using a simple bind mount I'm not making it overly complicated I just want my snap apps to read my home folders so that's what I'm interested in we'll try cherry tree again as well and see if that picks up the documents folder no worries file open file documents cherry tree and there's that there if we open that and then I've got all my information here no problem at all so that's all working good so that's how I'm running my main system is with bind mounts now the other thing that you will find is when you want to so you can see the little the little icon there on the folder it's like a sim link but it's a bind mount so it's um, actually um, probably a bit more of an advantage of using bind mounts now there is a uh, what can you say is a bit of a downfall to that and and what that is is I've noticed now I don't know if there's any way around this um, when it comes to moving something to trash that option has gone so all we have is delete permanently we don't have option to move to trash the only other way of found of doing that is we move to and we select home and public um, and select now that's gone to public home and public and we can move to rubbish bin from there so that's the other way you can do that if you want to move to rubbish bin rather than delete permanently just in case it's something you didn't want to delete permanently that's the only other way around that that I can find I don't know if there's any other way of sorting that out um, so we have lost the ability to um, move to trash with bind mounts but we can like I said we could um, you could probably make a script for this I don't know how to make scripts I've never done them you can work it out somehow but you could keep this like in a cherry tree like me and just um, punch that in copy and paste that into your terminal for me for example copy and paste this do a temporary bind mount and then um, once you're finished you could unmount it I'd prefer just to have it automatically bind mount straight away off the bat once you log in uh, because I'm always using blender and, and all that sort of thing so maybe blender maybe that's um, because I use um, let's just get out of the um, virtual box 
will go to my system. Now I've got Blender in here and um, that's, um, that's not a Snap app. What Blender is, is when I download Blender, I download the, the tar GZ file, I think it is. This one here, download for Windows, Mac and other versions. So it's Linux there, download. And when I download that, and we'll go to my, my file browser, if we go to Downloads and Apps and go to Blender, and it's a tar BZ file. So when you extract here like so, and you get this, and you open that up, and then you can double click that. Now I haven't made a launcher for that yet. I haven't I haven't made a launch a permanent launcher for that yet. So um, I, I need to do that. And that's probably why I was having problems with Snap apps, probably because I was using Simlinks and it wasn't reading and maybe that's that was my issue. I'm not I can't be too sure on that. Um, but I find that the the tar bz file that you extract, it's just a binary file that uh, runs when you double click it. I find that one to be the best that works so far. I've had a lot of trouble with rendering animations and that with the other ones. They don't render. And maybe that was because I was using Simlinks and that's why it wasn't rendering. I may have to try a Snap app to see whether this bind mount works. So that's something I may have to look at. So as you can see on my main system, I've got all these here on my NVMe data drive there and that is all working well except like I said so if you wanted to delete something you know it's permanent unless you move it to public move to rubbish bin there if there's another option there and anybody knows about the move to trash scenario I would be happy to hear from you because I don't know whether there is a way around that or not so that was bind mounts found this scenario to be a big advantage of uh, using Snap Apps and accessing your home folders. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.